What's going on guys, Wingsman here and welcome back to another video and today guys we're gonna be playing one block skyblock in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I am really excited to be playing this and hopefully you guys are excited for this series as well. If you are, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new. It's completely free, takes only a couple seconds and helps the channel out tremendously. And with all that said, let's get right into today's video. What is one block skyblock, you may ask? Well, as the name suggests, it's a one block in the sky. And that's pretty much it, honestly. I think we actually beat the game, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. I'm just kidding, of course. That would be the shortest series ever. This is actually a one block skyblock map that was originally made in Java edition of the game, and from the looks of things, it seems really, really fun, and I think you guys are actually going to enjoy it, hopefully, as much as I do. But pretty much this was converted to Bedrock Edition, otherwise I wouldn't actually be playing it. It's actually converted in uh, Spanish language, so there's gonna be a little bit of the Spanish, nothing too serious, just a couple of the uh, maybe sentences and stuff at the beginning. Later on you're not really going to see any of it in case you don't know any Spanish, like I do. I only know a couple of the words, so I'm not an expert. But pretty much how this little map works is this little block over here is the center of our universe. Every time we break it, we are going to get a new block and it's going to regenerate. There are 10 different phases in which you can get different uh, blocks, mobs and loot chests, which is really amazing. The first one is planes, where we are pretty much going to be getting dirt, wood, clay, loot chest and the passive mobs. Next is underground, where obviously we're going to be getting different types of stones and actually hostile mobs like creepers and stuff, which I'm definitely not looking forward to. And the other 8, I honestly have no idea because I can't remember, but the final is probably going to be the end. But that's pretty much enough rumbling, let's actually start this and I'm gonna be explaining it a bit more when we actually start playing. I might be talking too fast, that's just because I actually want to get into the gameplay because I'm so excited. This over here is just kinda introducing us to the game, what we need to do. You can see we are going to get uh, like loot chests. This one is going to have a little bit of the bread in it. And of course the uh, keys to pretty much play this as a normal skyblock, basically explain the island and build different things. That's kind of what I'm aiming for for this series. I don't just want to build like cobblestone or wood platforms all on the same level and just build like farms and stuff over there. I don't want to do that, I actually want to try to make this look amazing. That means we're going to have different uh, levels of the platforms, we're going to have maybe our own house, maybe a little setup for the actual animals, we're going to have a different thing for the actual animals and stuff, so I think it's really going to be nice, and I'm gonna be pretty much focusing on like decorations. Over here at the start, of course, we're not gonna be getting anything uh, crazy, so we're probably gonna be limited to what we're actually gonna be able uh, to do as far as decorating stuff goes. And you can see we're actually getting some melons and stuff. I should probably expand this island a little bit because we're probably going to get like maybe a cow or something soon. And I don't really want them to kind of fall over, so let's just kind of go around over here and we're going to expand this a little bit. Another thing that I wanted to do is when we actually finish maybe a couple of the like little platforms at the beginning, I actually kind of want to uh, keep them as they are and not actually decorate them later on just to kind of see where we actually came from. And another thing I want to do is actually, should this, is this actually going to be a good idea? Let's just wait for the grass to kind of spread around, that way we can actually get some grass going on our island. Great, it's already night time, I guess I'm just gonna be mining a couple more blocks over here and we are going to get a little bit of the wood. I'm not sure if it would be a wise idea to maybe actually make some tools, you can see we're getting like wood and dirt and clay. So I don't really know if we need like a pickaxe right now, maybe just get like a wooden shovel and an axe. If you watch any of my previous videos, maybe like survival stuff, you know that I absolutely hate to make wooden stuff, but I think in this series it might be necessary just to kind of speed up the process a little bit. Hello there, cow. 
Um, hi, can you do me a favor and not fall off? I'm gonna be expanding this a little bit later, so hopefully we're going to find you a nice home. Right now I just want to kinda dig a couple more blocks over here. I guess it's time for us to expand the island a bit more, as you probably noticed over here I kind of want to go for like a circle because keeping everything square in a square game is not the best idea. We are just going to go like 5 blocks over here, I don't really want anything massive, so we have a 1 block over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and place 2 on this side and we are going to pretty much close this circle later on. Might as well put some trees to grow while we are at it. And back to breaking blocks. Feather, hello there. This chicken has to survive. This is my little cousin over here. He can fly, I can fly, so we are practically the same. Hopefully you are going to stay over there and cow don't push it, if you actually try to push it, I swear I will push you off, don't you even think about pushing my little uh, chicken friend over there, I'll be watching you. I see you thinking about it, better don't try anything, back to the grind. Ooh, a bone block, that's definitely going to help us grow some trees. Uh, I'm just going to kind of expand this a little bit more because I don't want to fall off. And I guess we need to actually make a pickaxe. I didn't really know that the bone blocks are actually going to spawn over here. And I'm pretty sure we can't actually mine them without a pickaxe. So I guess this is one thing we actually need a pickaxe for in this first little phase. I guess we might as well actually make it and grab yourself the bone block, at least I think this is a bone block, it has to be, I don't really know what else can it actually be. I'm starting to kinda try to actually organize myself because I know if I actually don't do it from the start I am definitely not going to do it later and I might as well actually keep the bone mill over here until we actually expand this little uh, island because I don't want any of the saplings and stuff falling off. So let me just kinda go grab a little bit more dirt and finish this island off. Another cow, huh? You better don't push my chicken off, speaking of which. Did you push my chicken off? What did I tell you? What's gonna happen after you push my chicken off? You are going to fall down as well. And you, you are in this as well. Goodbye mushroom, don't kill my friend's chickens. Well, now I know what to do with the mushroom cows when they actually spawn. This is going to be fun, just try to spawn. I'm going to kill every single one of you just as you kill my little chicken. I can't believe they just murdered the chicken in cold blood. Uh, this will be fun, just spawn, just try to spawn and you're going to see what happens. I can't believe our chicken friend is gone already, he was alive for like 2 seconds. This is what happens if another cow, even a normal cow, which is a relative of the mushroom cow, is going to end up like a little food and we are going to get the leather from it or just push it into the void. I can't believe our little chicken actually died, I didn't even have time to name him. I guess I did call him Feathers, so you know what, his full name was Professor Feathers and I can't believe those mushroom cows just killed him. Uh, I'm just going to grind a little bit, looks like we're getting lucky with a lot of the wood over here and another chest, we got ourselves another sapling, I guess I could actually use that uh, bone mill and try to grow some trees and finish up our little platform, I know I call it island, it's not really an island unless we actually do that later on, maybe we turn this into like a floating island, but right now it's just a little platform. <music> That gave me a mini heart attack, that scared me so bad, <laughs> I was just kind of mining over here in our little blog, just kind of got the dark really instantly and I saw a lot of green stuff, I was scared for a bit but luckily just our little tree grown, hopefully we're going to get at least like 5 pieces out of this, 
I had my good share of like spruce trees where they just grow for like four blocks and have like ten blocks leaves uh, kind of tall. That's not really a fun tree. We got ourselves a little platform over here. Nice, the grass is growing, and we had no more cow visitors. I guess they're scared what happened to their friend and what's gonna keep happening if they keep getting on my island. Again, rest in peace, Professor Feathers. Well, we got ourselves another tree. This is a small one. Luckily, we didn't have the big one, otherwise, that would be kind of pain to actually cut down. And we got four spruce saplings. I guess you know what this means. We're never going to have a problem with the wood ever again. Of course, if this tree actually grows, let's use all of our bone meal. And there it is. Our wood problems are solved. I just need to get a better axe. Every time our main block would turn into grass, I would kinda lose it if I move away, so with a little bit of decoration, we are always going to know which one it is, and I think I might even need like two axes to chop this down. This is going to be fun, let's just create a little staircase going all the way up and see how much wood we're actually going to end up with, and I'm pretty sure this is going to solve all of our wood problems, at least for now. Almost a stack and a half of wood, that's insane, I also used two pieces of uh, our last bone meal, I didn't really think it was going to grow, but it also gave us a massive tree, that's going to take a bit of time to actually cut down, I already spent three axes on the uh, spruce one, this is going to take a bit more time. Gotta have a border around your platforms, that's just the rule. And a fence on top of that, because let's face it, I would probably fall off one day. Well, that oak tree wasn't really that big, it only gave us like 12 logs, I was kinda expecting more, but we are definitely getting some more of the spruce uh, saplings over here, that way we're gonna be able to grow more of the giant trees if you actually need them, but right now you can see our basic uh, little platform is really nice, but I definitely want to expand, and I'm just going to spend a bit of time kinda mining over here, hopefully upgrading to the next little phase, and we can expand over there to maybe like a tree farm. Now that looks important and that's a special chest, we actually got another pick over there and a water bucket that's gonna be so good if we can actually get, grab ourselves a lava bucket to start a cobblestone generator, I'll definitely take it and I guess it's time for some more grind. Another bone block that's definitely going to help us for the next project which is going to be a tree farm. We meet again, this time you have nowhere to go, you can't push anyone off only possible escape is your death, which is definitely going to happen right now, I'm just going to let you run a little bit more, calm down and then the head drop. Oh hi! Okay everybody, it's happening, it's happening, stay calm, stay calm! 4, 3, 2, 1, and we got the next phase, underground phase, this is amazing. Right now what I want to do is actually sort my inventory because it's a full mess, I've been grinding a little bit, and I definitely want to start working on a tree farm, and I think we're going to expand it this way, and uh, these sides over here can be for like different farms, maybe our little house, we can have like a crop farm, and maybe industrial industrial area where we're going to have like cobble gen and all of the automatic farms, but right now let me just figure out what I want to do, and I'll bring you guys back. <laughs> And there we go, we got ourselves a nice looking bridge leading to our tree farm, I think it turned out really nicely, maybe I over decorated it over here in the middle, but I, I accidentally made a lot of the buttons so I kinda wanted to use them, this is a good old trick with the cobblestone and some fence gates, I think it turned out really nice, and I think it looks really cool because we used a lot of the spruce and I was kinda running low on the actual birch and dark oak over here, so it turned out amazing. We have kind of the same colors, but not every single bridge is going to be like this. This one is just going to lead to a tree farm. The idea for this is we're going to make another like a bigger circle, maybe a lot bigger than this one over here in the middle. I'm actually going to kind of separate the tree farm 
For right now we're only gonna be having like an oak on one side and this spruce on the other side so that's why I have a lot of the little uh, slabs over here and over here is what I used to kind of build up the bridge I had to uh, go over here in the line I'm gonna be taking this down later but my idea was to basically split this right now in the oak and the spruce tree farm and after I actually put in the platform I'm going to explain what I had in mind for the other trees so let me just work on that This took a lot longer than I originally planned, I'll tell you those 9 pieces of bone meal that we had ran out pretty fast surprisingly, I pretty much had to wait for the trees to actually grow to finish up this platform because the fences were the real problem. But you can see we only have platform for the oak and the spruce and the layout of the dirt is probably not going to remain the same. In fact I know it's not because we're gonna be using those two sides over here in the middle to basically make a little staircase that's going to go down over here onto another platform. We're going to do the same thing on this side as well. Keep in mind I am really bad at drawing and this is just going to go down maybe like 10 blocks or so just to kinda create a different uh, pretty much platform over here. We don't want everything to be flat. And of course we're going to have another like a little platform right over here and same on the other side as well So this one over here is maybe going to be for like birch and the dark oak and over here we can have like a jungle and of course the uh, acacia I think it is and this is actually going to look a lot nicer when we actually have the trees grown this is going to be again like 10 blocks down over here we're going to have kind of trees growing on this side over here as well then we're going to have this massive platform over here with the trees just kind of growing a lot over here i know this drawing is absolutely terrible and this is just kind of a way for me to actually explain what i have in mind but of course we're not going to be doing all of that in today's episode i'm kind of going to be doing that uh, later on because I have a bit of a mess to clean up over here I definitely need to destroy that little platform that I used to actually build a bridge because the animals are actually getting over there which is not really ideal and we definitely need to take care of the wandering trader and maybe kill a sheep I'm pretty sure we're gonna have enough resources to actually make a bed right now so that's definitely on the to-do list and I definitely want to add the saplings over here to have as much of the wood growing as fast as we possibly can well, this guy doesn't really have anything interesting, so we're going to kill him and actually kill the llamas as well. I just kind of want to have the leads over here because it's definitely going to help us uh, pretty much moving the animals later on. And we got two leads, so when we actually build like a f farm or area for the animals, we're going to be able to move them really easily. I'm going to put in a couple of the saplings and maybe we can get ourselves the cobblestone pick and get a little bit far ahead in this second phase. Well guys I think we're actually gonna have to sadly wrap up this video today because this tree platform actually took a lot longer to do just because of all of the waiting. I didn't really anticipate all of this uh, time to actually go to just kind of growing trees and stuff and this fence actually took a lot longer so I'm actually gonna have to wrap this up over here. I don't really know if I'm going to place it over there. Maybe it needs like two space to actually grow. I'm pretty sure it doesn't but we're just gonna have to do it like that. I definitely want to do a lot more, I wanted to start like uh, another platform and stuff, maybe get a little bit further into this uh, little stage over here, but again sadly this took a lot longer and definitely kinda messed up my schedule for this video, so I'm gonna have to wrap this video up. Again guys I'm really sorry that I had to cut this video short, it's still probably gonna be like 20 minutes but I definitely wanted to do a lot more progress, this little tree farm definitely kinda took a lot of the time and messed my schedule up but I'm pretty happy with what we actually managed to do, it looks really nice and that's the one thing that I was kinda going for, let me know if I kinda overdid it with the little bridge over here but I think it turned out nicely, we have the spawn island and the most important block pretty much secured over here, although I'll have to do something about those creeps. I'm really happy with the amount of stuff we managed to do but I definitely wanted to do a lot more the fences definitely took a lot of the time but I'm happy with this and as I said at the beginning I'm probably not gonna be changing anything over here maybe the dirt actually because we need to have a staircase going down for the two another platforms so we can pretty much have every single type of the wood over here but uh, I think other than that we're pretty much gonna keep everything the same because 
if we actually want to do more of this series later on we're gonna be able to see where we actually came from and we're going to see kind of the builds evolving in that sense that is again if you guys actually want to see more of this series i'm really excited to actually play it and it's a lot of fun so hopefully you guys are going to like it if you do make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new it's completely free it takes only a couple seconds and it helps the channel out tremendously if you think any of your friends would enjoy this type of content make sure to share with them other than that stay safe take care have a wonderful day and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out